this, the, the allegation that he died from myeloma, you can't dispute it. The allegation, the, the fact that myeloma causes, uh, the fact that poisoning and poisonous chemicals cause myeloma, you can't poison, you can't dispute that. So when you listen to, uh, I think you do very well, you might probably also understand why the Nkuma had a more effective uh, impact if the poison conspiracy is true. Because the um to me had immediate medical attention. And the gentleman talked about the period where things were so bad for Wun to me that the doctor who was treating him, the vice president's doctor, told Wun to me that he was gonna give him a particular shot. And if that shot did not revive him, he had to be flown to Accra. All this while John Kuma was not reacting. So it appears that if the poisoning allegation is true, John Kuma delayed a lot more uh, before he kicked in, before any attention was sought. And, and if you believe that, then it means that the so-called poison may have stayed in his system much, much longer. And perhaps is why it had a much longer effect. And perhaps uh, uh, the damage was done too early. Because if you believe, I say this narrative that even for whom to me who was in the, who was battling, if that particular drug did not save him at that time, he had to be rushed out. And you realize that uh, John Kumar's wife saved him for a lot more hours, deep late into the night. Then you may want to believe that his system, he probably had a, a much stronger immune system. But once it was overpowered, uh, it, took, it, 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 it took a very high toll. And eventually may have, as we know from the scientists, may have developed into the myeloma. I see. So still, there's, listening to you, there's a lot still not settled. You, you, you remember I told you the last time that there are some, if it, there are some poisons uh, you know, we're, we're talking in a, uh, on, on radio, so I don't like to say stuff like this. But there are some poisons that it's even difficult to detect from, from the lab. Okay? Uh, you, need, you need a toxicologist, not a pathologist. Pathologists, okay, but toxicologists are specialized more on the issues of poisons. They will now break down all these chemicals that are found in the, the dead person's body and begin to analyze it and direct you closer to what chemicals may have been in the system of the deceased. So for me, uh, I can tell you that it appears to me that people are in a hurry to put this matter to the rest. That's how I read it. From, I know that it might be hard on the family. I know that it might be hard on, uh, on people who love this gentleman, but I hope that they give the opportunity. For example, with all this speculation that is happening, wouldn't it have been good for the family to say, well, thank you, Mr. Pathologist, but we would like a second opinion. And I will want this second opinion to include a toxicology report, a uh, 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 test to make sure, to be double sure that we actually know what killed uh, Kuma. You see, uh, Senna, this goes, and, and, and it's in the interest of the family, because you see, Don Kuma has kids, okay? He has not one, he has about six, from what I understand. So if it is cancer that killed, that, that killed Mr. Kuma, uh, and it's genetic, it means that even his children are at risk at some point in their life. And the, and the young man is only 45 years old. Okay? So it is important for the family to get to the bottom of this. So that 45 years down the line, uh, you don't have any of his children being exposed to this because it was overlooked. If cancer is in the family, it has always been the wisest thing for family members and children to know. So they know their lifestyle. So I don't understand the rush uh, to 
sort of settle his debt and saying the pathologists have spoken and then they are not even saying it officially. It's just going through the party and then they push it on Ghana web. What is the what is the rush? How can we settle this issue? Because you see, it also has implications on the party, the MPP. Everybody will be scared. Okay? Whether this is true or not. Everybody will be looking over his shoulder um, to be sure that, hey, I'm not the next target. People are looking into other people's faces to say, are you the one or are you not the one? This has a very permanent scar on both the party and the family. And I think that it's important that they don't rush. Okay? They don't rush. You, you heard uh, Nigel Gaines' response, I think, uh, to the wife of John Kuma. I also agree. This is not the time to be trading insults and aggregations. But Nigel Gaines also talked about the fact that, well, it looks like the woman is dear enough to be uh, uh, to run for MP in the area. Therefore, um, she's in a hurry to get over that and get into the politics of things. And for me, look, the man is not even buried yet. The cause of death is not properly established. To be going over that, over a man whose body is not even in the grave, with all this going on, is not healthy. But it is important. Like Ghanaians like sweeping things under the carpet way too much. Let us get to the bottom of this because it has implications for public safety. It has implications for the political party. It has implications for the family itself. So let's get to the bottom of it. Don't throw dust in the eyes. Oh, he died of cancer and he died of myeloma. End of story. But myeloma can be caused by poison. So let's get to the bottom and not put this under the carpet. Hmm. Great. Thank, thank you very much for speaking to us. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, he, his conclusion is let's get to the bottom of this and not sweep it under the carpet. Lawyer. Opa, Sasiatwa, Kohatsi, with this real estate.